When it comes to Windows Phone 8.1, Microsoft has also completely redone the store. They changed the back end, how it works with Windows 8, and how it affects you, the consumer. Let's take a look. Now the store itself has not changed too much when it comes to the live tile. It's going to be the same basically icon, but Tapient launches a whole new experience. The store itself has been redesigned to feature apps and basically bring you, the consumer, what is the latest and most popular apps. So you can see here, you got your featured screen and you can scroll down a little bit, uh, money and budget. So it, they're breaking it down into categories and the idea here is for discoverability so that you can basically quickly see what are the most popular apps, what people are talking about. Uh, and it goes by categories too, features and collections. So the way it basically presents information to you is a lot different. You also have over here the quick links. So you have featured apps, featured games, top free games, and you, go, you can drill down further into these. And it's a really interesting way. It's meant to basically help developers so that their apps and games get noticed by you. You also have your new rising app. So this is stuff that's brand new that's starting to basically trend in the store. It's a really nice design and it makes things a lot easier to discover. You also have your familiar categories, but you'll see the text now is smaller, so it fits more categories on the screen. You still have your Nokia collection if you are an Illumia device. You also have your carrier store right below it, should your carrier have that. Now Verizon usually doesn't have too much stuff, although they do have their NFL Mobile, Backup Assistant Plus, and sometimes they highlight their own apps, uh, songs on MetroTube, things that they find that are interesting that you may also like. You can scroll down here and you can see you basically have the same categories that we were familiar with before. Over here, you can see it says for Daniel. So now this is taking a hint from the Windows 8.1 store, which shares a lot in common in terms of design and categories. So what they're doing here is presenting applications and things that I may be interested in. That's based on previous ratings I've given, stars, and basically feedback of apps that I use. And so Microsoft collects that information and then uses it basically to give me ideas for apps. Now I haven't given too many reviews for apps, so my recommendations aren't totally refined yet, but you get the general idea. And so that's basically how the store looks, but when you go deeper into it, we can go into settings here. There's actually a whole new menu items here. Uh, you have my apps, when you click that, you can see I've installed quite a few apps, not on this device, but that's my entire Windows history, Windows phone history. So I have 1,331 apps, so it's going to take a while. And it goes by the latest ones I've installed basically on this device, and I can scroll through. Bring up the menu item, you have home settings and downloads, and you can also select, so you can do multiple installs. You can see here, I can bring up these items and then I can basically hit download. So it makes it a lot easier when transferring to a new device or you wanna bring down old apps. Going into downloads here, you can see this would be current downloads at things that are actually downloading and updating. Scrolling over, you have your history. So this is a whole new screen here, it's really good. Uh, we'll show you in a second here how the store could automatically update your applications in the background. And if it does, you can go back into your history and basically see what was updated. And then you can tap into the store. And you can also see now how apps have been redesigned in terms of how they're presenting the information. You have, of course, the title, the average star ratings, and then you have the description. But now the screenshots are all on this overview page. And then you can hit more information if you need to read more about the app if I can tap that, and you got that information. Scrolling over, reviews get its whole own subsection now, basically because reviews became very popular and they're important for uh, you know, learning about an app or game, whether or not you like it. Now you can see, not only do you see the average star rating, but you can actually see how those stars are broken down. So you can see a lot of people like this app, but then you also have quite a few people that have also given it a one star. And then scrolling down, you can now read the reviews and you can also mark if you think the review was helpful or not. That's gonna basically help bump reviews up that are really good, up higher onto the list. And then you'll see that it gets sorted by most helpful, where reviews that are perhaps not as contributive to the system will be marked down. Tapping that button, you can also select how you're gonna sort those reviews by most helpful, most recent, highest rated, or lowest rated. So if we go highest rated, you can basically see these people who gave the app five stars, so you can get their viewpoint. Um, 
And if you go back into most helpful and hit lowest rated, you can read the reviews of people now who just did not like this app at all. It's a great way basically for learning whether or not you would like something or what the pros and cons are. So we really like that design. Details, it's familiar. This used to be in the main overview screen. Now it gets its own section. Here you can see the last uh, time the app was updated, the size of the app, the current version, and basically the other information, including notes and uh, the, the requirements for the application. And of course, you have the familiar related. So these are apps that are similar into navigation compared to here. And you go back to overview. Hopping back into the menu, we can go to settings, which is really nice now. You have a use my location feature, so that's new. You can turn it on or off. It's basically going to give you apps or games that are based on your location that you may be interested in. Of course, you have the familiar pin, so you can set it so that people can't just make app purchases without your uh, code. Uh, suggestions, app updates, uh, update apps automatically, says what I was referring to before. So you can turn that on or off and your apps will you know, update automatically. Of course, that will also go into the notification center so you will see that apps have been updated. So it's not completely behind the scenes and you won't miss things. You can also check back later, go into your history and see what was changed. Uh, only get updates over Wi-Fi. So if you enable that, you can save on data costs and you won't download on your data plan and check for updates. This is basically a setting a lot of people have asked for. It's going to basically force check and update right now to see if any apps are new to the store. And so that's a really nice uh, addition. One other neat feature that a lot of people have requested is if you have previously purchased an app and you're on a new device, whether or not you've actually bought that. So this app here, uh, MR Level 3, this is actually a really expensive weather app. It's for basically professional people who need a uh, uh, high level radar. Anyway, uh, what's important here is the fact that see it says owned right below it. So it, it's basically telling me I've already bought this app and so I don't need to rebuy it. And you can see it just gives you install and share. It doesn't give me a buy option. Whereas if I did not have this app previously installed on another device, it would just say buy or share share since this app does not have a trial. But since I already owned it, I can see it there and I can just also hit install. So there's no more confusion. That was a really big uh, feature point that needed to be updated and Microsoft has finally done it in 8.1. So that's a quick look at the store changes on Windows Phone 8.1. Microsoft has really paid attention here. They delivered a nice unified store with Windows 8. There are apps now you can buy on both platforms with one purchase. We'll see more of that in the coming weeks. You can auto update your apps in the background without you having to touch a thing. It's a lot easier to discover what's new. We like Microsoft's changes here, but you tell us what you think. Head to WP Central for more information. Take care, everybody.